I want to talk about. Uh, sort of an instrument build, really. It's an instrument, instrument repurpose and an experiment leading up to a build later. And uh, what happened, I was given a couple guitars. A friend of mine found them. And uh, one of them I restored for my friend, which was a classical guitar. He didn't ask me to, but I went ahead and restored it and gave it back to him. The other was, well, a cheap, crummy child's guitar. And it's the Mark II. I think they used to sell them at Buy Mart and stuff like that. It's uh, <clears throat> nothing to brag about. It's a plywood guitar. It's something that a kid would start with and learn on, etc. Uh, I experimented with it. I did a color stain with a color burst. Um, and honestly, I just used what I had left over. I had done an electric uh, color stain on an electric baritone that I built. <clears throat> so I had some left over. And I just thought I'd use it up. So I did do that. I sanded it and did that. It's really, uh, it's a plywood build. Uh, it's not very good wood, etc. But what I, and so, and then I took off, uh, I cut it down to five tuners instead of six because you always, on these short guitars, you have a trouble with that low E string anyhow. And then I decided to experiment with what's called a, a reentrant tuning, uh, similar to Mexican vihuela. So the Mexican, a normal guitar go, would go um, E, B, G, D, A, if you only had five strings. And these would get lower as they go. Reentrant means it, it re enters the scale range. And so it starts like a normal guitar with an E and a B string. Then when it goes to the G, instead of going lower than the B, it goes higher. It's an octave higher than the G is. And the same thing with the D, it's an octave higher. And then the A is also an octave higher than the A. And you can see there are no wound strings on this. And what that, uh, I use some 12 string octave strings for it. And uh, it just gives it a different sound. It makes for a really nice little rhythm instrument. And uh, I might actually build a, a nice one someday. <laughs> I was thinking about that. that Maybe what I'll do is build a, a little better quality uh, instrument that it can be set up like a V way, like, like the dots or stickers, and um, I don't know what the wood's made out of. It's not very nice deck wood or anything, but it ends up looking okay and sounding pretty. And so I just thought I'd show that because I actually have plans for. Uh, the sides. I want to use the sides so I don't have to bend sides um, to make something entirely different. And of course when I use the sides I won't use the top or the back. I'll, I'll make that out of out of a different type of wood so I can have a more natural looking finish. Probably veneer the sides and, and I'll build a neck to put on it. So I'm actually the only thing I'm going to be using out of this instrument are the sides and uh, then I'll, I'll probably take the neck and and bolt it onto something like a cookie can or something and make like a cigar box guitar out of it. But I thought I'd play it for you with that reentrant tuning. So you, everything gets after this string, everything starts getting high again, and then works from high to low. And so this is higher than that, and uh, it it's quite a nice sound. It's strictly a rhythm instrument. It's not really designed for leads with the re-entrant tuning. 
Um, not saying you can't. I'm just saying it's not really designed for that. It's designed to play a rhythm with other instruments, guitars, like in a, in um, in a mariachi band. The vihuela is is a rhythm that sounds different than the guitar, and that's why they mix that in. and And it's pretty. And so that's the experiment. Um, and like I said, I like the sound a great deal, and it would be uh, something I might play with down the road. But I have plans um, for some of the pieces of this instrument, so I'll, you know, play Dr. Frankenstein and cut it apart and do different things, mostly because it's fun to do for me. So, Lord bless you. I hope you found that interesting.